whatever you think I am, I am not that. I am solely a consciousness expressing itself through this vessel. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Measy Mill, back today with some more knowledge. Now, look, in today's video, I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all, bro. This shit really going to make me mad. Because I've been literally studying and paying attention to the patterns and the systems that are in place and why the black community is still suppressed and oppressed. Now, a couple weeks ago, I'd say about a month ago, right before I started my YouTube channel, I was doing DoorDash, right? And this DoorDash is whenever you're just driving around neighborhoods and you pick up people food and you drop it off at their house. Now, one thing that I noticed, being me, being the person that I am, I pay attention to everything now. I'm woke. I, want, I don't even like to use that term because people say fake woke and shit like that. But it's not even that. It's literally just paying attention and being aware of your circumstances and situations that you are in in your life. Now, look. Whenever I start driving around and I start delivering food, I go to these million dollar neighborhoods, right? Now I didn't do this, I did it intentionally for two different reasons. First thing, I notice whenever um, I go to these neighborhoods or go to these areas that were more populated with people who have money, they were all white. You don't, you don't never go to no neighborhood and see a millionaire black person. All you do, you go around and you see a white, a white neighborhood is nothing but a utopia of fucking white people. And I'm not saying that in a negative way, but this video is literally going to be telling you exactly why it is. Because I posted on my Snapchat. I was like, bro, why is it like this? I was like, there's no reason at this point that the, the wealth gap is so big. And if I go into these neighborhoods, I don't see not a damn person with skin color. It's nothing but white people. Like, I'm telling you, hundreds of houses, like, they're all, like, 30, I mean, 300,000 and up, like, $400,000 houses, $700,000 houses, and you don't see no people with color, bro? There's a problem. And there's, and then somebody post, uh, slid up on my Snapchat and was like, black people are lazy. They always want to just kill people. They want to kill their own people. That's why they don't want to make money, or that's why they're not making money. But then I really sat back and watched it. And I was like, is that really the truth? Because like, all the black people I know, I said this in my video I posted earlier today, all the black people I know are always go-getters, bro. They always wanna go get the bread because they gotta look up and help their family. But most of our families are destroyed. Even when we're born, bro, our families are destroyed. Either our parents, or not, our mom and our dad aren't together, or they are, or they are and mom gotta work two shifts, dad got to work two shifts, or some shit like that. It's never a normal family like a white person family. You feel me? Like, you go to a white neighborhood, what 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 happened? It's six o'clock. They go home. Both of their parents are sitting at home. They having a meal together. You don't see that in the black community, bro. The way I grew up, I ain't even eat with nobody. Like, bro, I go in my, I still even to this day come in my room and just eat by myself. I don't even fuck. And that sounds weird, but I don't even communicate with people in my family other than on some simple shit, like just normal communication, you feel me? And then on top of that, my my family been unorthodox since I was a kid. Like, I don't have either one of my parents. So I see this shit, and I'm living proof of what the fuck is going on. But I want to let y'all know about the system because I've been in this shit, you feel me? And you feel me? I'm just an example of what the fuck is going on. And instead of me living through it, and being mad at somebody, I see it for what it is, and I accept it, and I figure out a way to change it instead of being mad because black people don't have shit, and then being mad at my own black family because they ain't got shit. You feel me? I want to help my niggas. Like, all my niggas who I grew up with, bro, we going to get it, bro. I promise you. I promise you, bro. This shit is not going to continue to happen. Now, look. First thing I want to start with. Back in slavery time, if y'all pay attention to what happened, even before slavery, let's start it before slavery. I'm doing a documentary right now on ancient Kemet. Now, ancient Kemet and ancient Egypt was one of the most civil civilizations or a very prominent civilization, all right? Now, look, in this civilization, it was nothing but black people. Now, if you don't know anything about um, the world, you all, you should know. Well, if you do or if you don't, I really don't care if you do or not because I'm going to tell you. But anyways, at one point in time, there was nothing but black people on this earth. And the white man came at some point in time from 
the Caucasus Mountains, right? But they want to say it's Europe. They want to give claim to Europe. They ain't even had that shit, but it was Caucasus Mountains, right? So that's why they get the name Caucasian. Now, if you want to learn more about the white, per the white person's creation story, go look at that shit. But anyways, we got the Caucasus Mountains, where white people come from. And then over time, we have Egypt. And then it was conquered by people of pale face. They, they didn't have no skin or no complexion, no melanin in their skin, right? So look, we got these people, and they take over a land in ancient Egypt. But in ancient Egypt... These people were civilized. They were in unity. They had one of the best civilizations even to this day. Now, if you pay attention, why the fuck do white people still go to Egypt and try to study what the fuck they did? Why is it like that? They know more about our black history than black people ourselves. But that's the reason. They don't want you to know about it. Because if you know about your history, bro, you will realize that you are a king. Being having melanin, bro, you are a king or you are a queen, bro. You are what they want to be, but they can't be. So they oppress you and they don't allow you to even understand your history. Now, black people don't know shit about their history. I promise you, if you ask any black person where they came from, they're going to say, well, I came from Africa. I promise you about 85 to 90 percent of y'all did not come from Africa. Y'all bitches was probably born here in the United States. Or y'all ancestors were here. If you don't really pay attention, if you really pay attention to it, the North and the South, the North didn't fuck with slavery, the South did fuck with slavery. So how you gonna tell me they bring 12.5 million slaves and they all live in the South and they all are working for the white man, even though it's still like that today, it's just a different form of slavery, but I'm getting into that later. So look, we got the transatlantic slave trade, right? Now, that shit was a lie. Most of the most of it. They did bring people from Africa to here, but it wasn't no damn twelve point five million. Cause I I know my ancestors are from here. Indigenous Americans, before the term Native American came about, it was black people. If you look up videos about black Indians, fucking Indian people who claim to be Native Americans, which are actual five dollar Indians, but we got these black Indians that look like me. People that look like me are in this little place, right, that we call uh, North America. But at one point in time, it's called Turtle Island. See, y'all don't know shit about y'all history. And y'all just gonna look at me like, oh, you fucking stupid. But nigga, do your research, bro. I'm tired of this shit. But anyways, it was called Turtle Island. Now, we got indigenous and aboriginal Americans who lived here. And it wasn't no such thing as slavery. It was prisoners of war, bro. It was a war that happened. Christopher Columbus came in this bitch and fucking started destroying the native, the people who were already here, right? He started destroying them, going to war, start killing their ass, right? Now, what we don't pay attention to is, okay, if people were here, they had to defend the land that they were living on. But what happened? The first time Christopher Columbus come, he come with open arms, right? He bring flowers. That's the only part that they tell you. They don't tell you about the second time when he come back with guns blazing, whips and the boat named Jesus. Bro, what? And then they bring the Bible and then they have the Bible and suppress our ancestors and tell them, hey, this is what's going to happen. Before, whenever people were in Africa, before they got to this bitch, they didn't have no religion. There was no such thing as, I'm going to go worship Jesus. <laughs> what the fuck? That's a damn boat. And they named that shit and gave it and put it in the Bible, all that bullshit. But look, we got this. We come over here. Some. Some people come over here. But the people who are here, they go to war with Christopher Columbus, even the damn slaves that they bring over. They go to war with Christopher Columbus and shit, right? So look. All the people that they capture are prisoners of war. It's not slavery. Slavery would have been they are working for this man so that they can gain something. Those were contracts that were signed. You would have a contract to say, I'm going to work for this amount of time and this is what I'm going to get. I'm going to get freedom or I'm going to get something from the, end, the other end of the bargain. But what happened? That's not what the only thing they did. What they do, they oppressed our minds. They took away and stripped away our history. They even burnt the scrolls that were inside of this uh, big building. They burnt all of the history from black people. Now, 
they probably did take out the, all the information before they burnt that bitch, but that's not the point. What I'm saying is that they are purposefully destroying our history. Even in the Sphinx and shit, they start blowing off the motherfucker's nose and shit. Like, they start trying to hide as much evidence to show that we are kings and queens, bro. They are trying to be us, but we don't even know that that's what they're trying to do. So this is what I'm here for. I'm telling y'all niggas that you are a fucking king, bro. You are a queen. You cannot continue to let them put you down because, bro, I promise you, when black people come together, they know this. This is why I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But, yeah, black people, when we come in unity, bro, it's over and they know this shit. But look, now I'm going to talk about what I was going to talk about. All right, look, so we had back in slavery. If y'all know anything about, uh, I forgot what bro's name was, but he was the man that was named that lynching was named after. So it's called the lynch letters or something like that, right? And what they did was they were talking to the slave, the slave owners or slave masters, whatever the fuck you want to call them, were talking to this man who was very intelligent, right? And they started asking him like, hey, why are these people going against what I'm telling them? You feel me? So what happened was black people were not having this shit, bro. They was mad. They was like, bro, I'm not doing this shit. And... They start doing these things to go against. They would be rebelling against the slave master. So what they do, they got this man and he start telling them what they need to do. They start ripping niggas apart, putting two people. They put one arm on this, one arm on this, and they tie him to a horse and start ripping his body apart, having put him on fire. And then they start lynching people. They start hanging people from trees and shit. They start doing all kinds of stuff during slavery times. And then what this do, this instilled fear into our minds that, hey, I got to start doing what this motherfucker tell me to do because I'm not trying to die like that. Hell no. Nah. You feel me? So this not only destroyed us, but it made us feel like we needed a white man. Right. So this is why slavery was so um, detrimental to our, our mindsets, bro. Like, we go and we see other black people and we're already afraid because, now, number one and number two, I want to talk about two things. There were different types of slaves. So you had the house slave and you had the, the slave that was working in the field. The people that worked in the house felt that they were superior to the people who were outside. So the whole point of the lynch letters was to get people to, well, get black people. If you're black, this you see the same person, like, I'm a black person. And even today, you still disconnect with them it's not no unity now white people have unity in their in their um culture black people have a disconnect and this is why during slavery they they had a superior and a dif inferior i about said deferior but inferior right so the house people would be talking shit to the people that was outside because they felt like they was better and then they had the women that were taken away from the families and they was with the slave masters so you got black women who would talk shit to the black women outside. You got the black men who would talk shit to the black men outside. Then you got all these niggas who was not really fucking with each other because what the how, how they going to come together? Like, bro, they are turning our mindset up. We are seeing this shit going on and we don't know what to do. You feel me? So then after slavery, there's this thing called Black Wall Street. So we got Black Wall Street, one of the most successful black owned operations in America. I'm telling you, they want to say some shit like, oh, we needed a white man after slavery. Hell no. We was in our own group. We had our own shit. The, the, um, the dollar bill went around in circulation in the black communities about a hundred times before it ever left. And that's because of Jim Crow laws and shit like that. Like we was like, we don't need to fuck with these white people. We don't need their ass. You feel me? And then what happened? The KKK came in it. The KKK came in that bitch and bombed us. Blew that whole motherfucking unity up. And now we are separate again. We back in poverty. Now, at this point, of course we're going to need some kind of help. So what we got to do? We got to go work. But we got to put, we get put in labor. And that shit, it's not the same as what we already had. Because we had millionaires. We got business owners. We got lawyers. We got doctors. And it's all in the black community. But these white people were having it. Now, I just want to say one thing before y'all motherfuckers get, get this shit confused. I'm not racist. I just see shit for how it is. I have a lot of white friends. I got a lot of black friends. Honestly, at this point, I have no friends because I've been 
grinding and doing my shit on my own because I'm trying to go somewhere that ain't nobody else really trying to go. I'm doing shit that ain't nobody else doing. So look, I'm just giving you facts on what the fuck is going on and I don't care who watches. I don't care who is analyzing this shit. Go look up all the facts. They are there. Now look, after Black Wall Street, we are put into situations where it's not beneficial for us as a black community to grow. All right, so we got to start working for the white man again. And it's all because of the damn KKK. And y'all want to fuck with Democrats so bad. Y'all want to think the Democrats are helping you so bad. But the Democrats created the KKK. And then they fucked up not only the Republican Party and 1865, 1867. All the black people that were there that killed their ass. Let's not even talk about that. But we can We can go into that too. You feel me? But the Democrats and Republicans, y'all want to fuck with them so damn bad. But hey, whatever. So then what happens? We have this term that's now called ghetto. Now, if you look up what a ghetto is, a ghetto is a place that is impoverished. There's not there's not much money. There's limited resources. So what the fuck is going to happen? A nigga got to eat. A nigga want to feed his family. So what's going to happen? He got to go get that shit regardless. Now, white people don't see it like that. White people think that they have that we have the same opportunities that white people do. You feel me? We don't have the same opportunities that they do. And I've talked to people literally, bro. They literally think that we got the same opportunities, bro. Like we don't. We we come into this like it's and it's not even it's like, bro, we all come from the same shit. And how is that? Why why is it that I don't go to school and I see a damn black person whose dad is a millionaire? You feel me? Like, I don't never see nothing like that. I always see people who come out the projects, people who got to sell drugs just to get food on the table, people who got to go rob somebody just to get food on the table. Because if they don't go rob that person, what's going to happen? They're not going to eat. They ain't going to get nothing. They're going to still be struggling. You feel me? So that's how it is. It's like we got to get the opportunities. We got to take the opportunities and run with it. Whatever we get at that moment, we got to run with it. Now, the reason that goes into hip hop and music and all that, but I'm talking about that later, you feel me? So look, we got this situation where we are impoverished and we are put into a ghetto. We are put into this certain groups, certain neighborhoods, you feel me? Now, the white people at this time did not want to integrate until, let's talk about um, Martin Luther King, right? So we got Martin Luther King during the civil rights movement. Now, what we don't know or what people just neglect is the fact that Martin Luther King was black. And during this time, it was nothing but a white America. All right. Now, you have to start asking yourself. Now, how the fuck did this man come from wherever the fuck he came from? End up in front of millions of people in the United States. And how did he get his own day that they acknowledged him. Because you got to pay attention to it. It's always been white America. It's not on no racist shit. It's real shit. You feel me? White America. That's all it is. White people want to stay in control. White people want to stay in power. You feel me? They own literally everything. They own real estate. They own the music industry. They own... They are doctors, lawyers. You feel me? Like, you got to start paying attention to it. Now, look. We got Martin Luther King, and what happens? They want to start integrating. But the reason why they integrate is because they see that the power of black people have. We have this very strong power that we are never giving up. Regardless of what situation happens, we will never give up, ever. All right? And I'm, I put that on my soul. Black people will never give up. And I promise you, bro, this shit going to change. It's not always going to be like this. We just got to put our... We got to put our minds together, bro. I promise you. Once we put our minds together, this shit is over. It straps up. You feel me? But anyways, we got Martin Luther King, and he's in here preaching in front of millions of people about why we should integrate. So we got integration coming on, and then the white people can start getting our dollars back. You feel me? Because at this time, whenever we had Black Wall Street, they was not profiting off of what we was doing. You feel me? The black dollar was going around 100 times. They weren't getting it. So they bomb us and then they integrate us so that we can become profitable again. So they create jail systems. 
we got jail systems. Now, what you got to realize is that the jail system profits off of people who are in there. So everything is about money. It's a capitalist society. Don't care about, I mean, it does care about race at the same time, but that's just the mindset that some people have. Now, it's starting to change. I see a lot more white people understanding it and seeing it for what it is, but just bear with me. So look, we got capitalism. They want to profit, and the jails got a profit too. So look, it's a profit jail system where shit is being made. This is when the 13th Amendment comes in, all right? Now look, we got the 13th Amendment, which is saying that slavery is abolished except if you are um, a criminal. So what happens? The the 80s epidemic, the crack, the, all that bullshit came. And they start going to jail for, I think it was like 100 to 1 or something like that. You go to jail for like 10 years for a gram or some shit like that. I forgot what the exact numbers was. But anyways, you got these two substances, right? You got powder cocaine which you snort, and you got this other cocaine or coke, whatever you want to call it. I don't really know the names of it because I wasn't born in and I don't fuck with drugs like that because I know what it does. But anyways, you got these two different kinds. You got one you can smoke and you got one that you can snort, right? So what we know, black people don't fucking stab needles in their arm. Black people don't snort shit. So what the fuck they going to do? They going to make a drug that's accessible to black people that they think that, okay, I'll do this shit. And it's smoking for them. So what they do, they profit off of black people who are impoverished. They put this shit, $2 million, or that's just one person, but they put millions of dollars worth of this drug into the black communities and starts destroying the communities, but they don't give a fuck. They want to profit so that they can, um, what's the word? So they can fight this war because during that time, it was a war. They call it a war on drugs, but the war was held up on drugs. You feel me? The war was... Profited because of drugs, and then they took the profit after they in, they um put the people in jail, like the drug dealers or all the people like that. They put them in jail. Then they confiscated all the money, so they got the millions of dollars, and then they go to this war, right? So now, whenever people are in jail, they start creating products for their system, right? So they start making boots. They start making um, all kinds of work utility things like. A lot of shit is being made in jail and they are not getting paid, but like a few cents to the dollar, you feel me? An hour. So this is where the slavery starts coming in. Like, hey, this shit's still real, but nobody really pays attention to it. So it's like $135 a day that the um jail system makes off of each person. So what the fuck? Shit. If I don't got to make him my slave, but I can lock him up and then they can still be a slave. What you think I'm going to do? Shit. Hey, here, hey, you can get this gram of weed, bro. You go, you might go to jail for like 10 years for this gram of weed, but hey, you can do it anyways. And then what's going to happen? Oh, you ain't got no money, so what you going to do? We going to put these drugs and guns in your neighborhood because your neighborhood already ain't got no money. So it's like, shit, you pick this up and you might make a couple hundred dollars a day. Ah, right, you going to do good. You going to get to feed your family. But that one time you get caught, you go to jail for 50 years. You feel me? So it's like, you did make a couple hundred to it. Let's say you made $1,000, right? But you go to jail for 50 years and they profit 45000 100000 You feel me? That's the mindset that's going on. So you in jail, you get out of jail. Let's say that you get out of jail and then you go into the system again. It's all a system. But if y'all want me to talk, shit, I'm going to start talking about the system. Y'all got me fucked up. But anyways, let's start as a kid. What we got? In that black neighborhood, we go to school and we learning about algebra. We learning about the Pythagorean theorem. When we got to go home and we ain't got no food on the table. We ain't learning about how we can actually do something after college. What we learning about? Shit that separates. It separates our mindsets from wanting to be in school. This is why black people go to school and they don't, they don't care. It's not because we don't care about our lives. It's because the shit that y'all teaching us Christopher Columbus, why y'all gonna tell me about how y'all was killing people and y'all don't, actually, y'all don't even tell us that part. Y'all just tell us the good side that, okay, 1492 motherfucker came over here and was doing good. Discovered some new land. That's how y'all frame it. Y'all tell us about all the bullshit that doesn't matter and it doesn't help our families. It doesn't help our minds whatsoever. And then y'all just want to blame it on y'all don't care. So then after this, 
we continue to learn about this. While white people are in private schools, a lot of white people go to private schools and they learn shit like learning how to uh, play a new instrument. They learn all kinds of things like how to run their own business. What is the econ economics? Economics and shit like that, you feel me? So they're learning about things that are pertaining to what their ancestors are already doing, you feel me? And our ancestors, we don't have any ancestors who are really doing business on this, except for the music industry. So we're going to talk about that later, because them niggas don't fuck with us. But anyways, we got this discrepancy. Now, this is what's going on. They're teaching white people how to be the business owner, and they're teaching the, white per they teaching the black person how to work for them. Now, this is the mindset that black people still have to this day. I need to go get a job. Instead of, I need to go work for myself, it's I need to go get a job. Now, me, I grew up, I was a kid, bro. I knew that shit since I was like eight. I was never going to work for nobody. I got to at some point in time because it takes money to make money. But once you understand how money works and what the system is, then you are never, pro I promise you, will never want to work for somebody else in your life. Because they not. Yeah. It's still the same thing. In slavery, the black man worked for the white man to keep the white man rich and help him get richer. It's still like that day. You go to warehouses. I work at a warehouse right now. I work at Amazon. And there's hella black people in that bitch. And we are still working to help the white man get richer. It's still the same thing, just in a different form. You feel me? Now, they pay us good or whatever. $15 an hour is really not shit. Because I promise you in like the next two years, I'm going to be a multimillionaire or next three, whatever. I don't care how many years it takes, but I promise you I'm going to be a multimillionaire. Now, look, that's just a mindset I got. And that's because I know it's possible. Now, look, we're still working, working for the white man. And then, all right, look, after we get out of school, most, a lot of black people drop out because of discrepancies, a discrepancy within school. So we don't care about the shit that they're teaching us because it's all bullshit. So we go to school and learn about this bullshit. We don't care about it, so we drop out. Then we got to think about it getting getting a job, but that job we're going to get ain't going to really do shit for us. So it's just a cycle. So then, like I was talking about lynching, the diversification between the house, the house, I don't even want to say house nigga, but yeah, house nigga and slave nigga. So you got these two different I said slave nigga, but outside and house. So you got these two different people. It's still it's still the same thing because we got celebrities, we got black celebrities, and then we got the normal people. So in the music industry, we always look up to people. Like even me, I always looked up to Lil Wayne. I didn't ever see him as my role model, but I just liked to listen to his music. And when I was a kid, always hearing about money ain't, I mean bitches ain't shit. You hearing about go gun gun kill him up. You feel me? This is what is being put into the black people. Now, one funny thing is you never hear white people listening to hip-hop and rap until recently. Recently, the past 5, 10, I'd say white people are, style, are now listening to the hip-hop and rap. But white people are like, why would you go kill him? Like, why would you go shoot? Or why would you, why would you even sell drugs to your own people? But they don't realize that we have to because that's the only opportunity that we have. Because if we don't sell this drug, our family not going to eat. You feel me? But these white people, they go to, they go home and they're like, okay, I got a good house. I got me a warm ass bed. I have 30 honey buns in the kitchen. You feel me? I can go eat whenever I want to. Shit, I can even stuff myself and become fat and my family can still buy me more food. But it's not like that in the black community. I just want to keep it 100 with y'all. Now, I don't want to say in all circumstances because y'all always make this argument. Well, all white people not like that. Shut the fuck up. I know that. But look, we got the discrepancy, right? So we got black people that are celebrities, which are bots, and they are trained to do this because what music does to you, if you haven't seen my video I made about it earlier, music really fucks with you if you listen to it because all it does, it's already on 440 hertz, so it's already implying destruction and shit like that. But if you continue to listen to it and you listen to the words, you're going to start trying to do what they do because look, Whenever you see that these rappers got millions of dollars, they got all the bitches they want, and then you start listening to the music and you hearing what they're talking about. They're talking about selling drugs, guns. They're talking about fucking bitches and kicking their ass out. Even me, I rap about that shit, and I don't even care about no bitch, you feel me? That's just because right now, I don't even care. Like, I'm grinding. Now, you feel me? That sound like I don't care about no bitch. It sound negative, but... 
it's it's just how it is. Like I don't give a fuck. Like if you in my life right now, I don't care. If you're not, I don't care. But look, we got this. So the music industry is like we got the people who would be in the house, like the house slaves, and then we got the normal people who would be just chilling outside on the street, trying to get their bread up. So look, it's all just putting you in the same situation as slavery, but in a different form. It's all the same thing. Like, bro, y'all stuck y'all gotta start paying attention. Like, the music that y'all listen to is keeping you suppressed. And the people who are you all think got it, they got money, but okay. What 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 are they really doing? You gotta pay attention to it. You don't see no rappers, no black people who made it going through rap, going through music. You don't see them putting money back into the black communities because if they did, then they would have no business making money. They would have no way to make money because what they do, they instill hope into us that we can make it out, right? So if they telling us that we can make it out, what the fuck they gonna do if we are out? This is why white people don't listen to it because number one, they got money, so they don't want to lose that money, so they not gonna go rob nobody. So the black people who don't got money, they gotta rob people because they ain't got shit to do. I mean, they ain't, they can't do shit else but that or sell drugs. So they listening to the music that is trying to get them out of the PJs, out of the projects, right? So look, you got this music, and then if all black people had money, they wouldn't listen to. Oh, I need to go kill this nigga because they already got the money. Why are they gonna go shoot somebody? Like that don't make sense. At that point, you got something for yourself. You don't need to go take from somebody else because you already got it from yourself or for yourself. You see what I'm saying? So that's one thing. And then in the movie industry, we got all the movies that you see that are mainly about black people. What we got? Friday. What you got? Some people in the hood. That's a cool ass movie or whatever. But it's not anything that's going to help the black community. You feel me? We got all these movies that are made to demote the black person. You got... If a white person saw some of the black movies, if they just seen five black movies that all black people see, they would instantly think the black people are fucking demons. I'm telling you, bro. They look at a black person and be like, yo, you are crazy. Like, black, in the black movies, like, you just see robbing, stealing, killing. You don't see nothing about, you don't see no fully black TV show that's about anything about education. You don't see anything that's about promoting anything other than violence or being a thug, being a rapper, being a gangster. You don't see nothing like that on the black community. You don't see things like Big Bang. You don't see nothing like shit. I don't even know because I don't watch TV. I don't watch movies like that. But you see what I'm saying? It's not any black movies that promote black people. All the movies that are made are made by the elites and the elites want to keep the black people oppressed. So they're going to put that image into the people that they are this shitty ass scum of the earth. You feel me? This is what the image is being portrayed to us. And even us, like I, I know black people who think that black people are shit. Like how are you black looking at me saying that, <laughs> bro, you looking at me talking about black people aren't shit. Like, Y'all always want to go shoot somebody or do some negative shit, but it's not even that. It's just, that's, number one, that's what he was fed, or that's what they, that's what these people are being fed, that black people are this, and it's not like that, not in all circumstances. So, that's another thing about movies. It instills black people, whenever you grow up and you're watching these movies, like, oh, I got to grow up and be a hard-ass thug. Bitches ain't shit. Got to get money. Like, that's, that's the mindset that we got growing up. And we can't continue to let it be like that, bro. I just wanted to talk about this because it's been on my mind a little bit. So, like I said, bro, it's just a system to keep you oppressed. Now, if y'all don't want to believe me, shit, do your own research. You feel me? Go outside, walk in the neighborhood, and tell me what the fuck you see. What When you go to a project, what is, what is what's out there? Nothing but black people. When you go to a neighborhood that got a lot of money, what you see? Nothing but white people. It's that for a reason. It's not because black people are lazy. It's because black people don't have the same opportunities. And then when we do get the opportunities, they fucking bomb our ass. Like, what the fuck? Bro, we chilling over here. We got our own shit. We got thousands of dollars just going in circulation on a daily basis. And y'all bomb our ass. Just so y'all can profit off of us. Like, it's going to be like that. Well, it was like that. But I promise you, it's not going to be like that forever. 
we got to start finding out who our ident what our identity is. We got to start knowing that, bro, we are kings and queens, and they we got shit that they don't have. So this is another reason why black people are being missing. Like millions of black people are missing each year, and their melanin is being taken and shit like that. And they are in food industry. So if y'all keep on eating these damn McDonald's and shit, y'all eating black people. Like. <laughs> Not even, it could be shit, all kinds of damn people. But I promise you that meat not real, because when I eat it, that shit make me want to regurgitate it or back the fuck up. But anyways, yeah, it's been your boy, Meese and Mill. I'm chilling right now, you feel me? So just start, bro, just start being aware. Start paying attention to shit, all right? That's it. I'm out.